Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we've been exploring around Lud's home, and I guess the biggest thing we did was... I don't remember exactly what it was called, but we got that doll from that collector's house who stole it from someone else, so now we can go give it back to that other person. Who's all the way back down here, so gonna have to wait a while for that. But for now, at the very end of the last episode, we just encountered this Uncle Jack cult. Let's go check it out. Watch fake Uncle Jack. Sure. Hello, I'm Uncle Jack, and this is Well, Well, Well. Ask yourself a few questions. Do you feel pain in your bones? Are you having trouble catching your breath? Do you bruise easily? Are your teeth a little loose in their sockets? Is your mouth often dry? Do you find your muscles are sore, <laughs> even when you haven't been overusing them? You have scurvy. And congratulations. This is one of our traditional English enemies. And like all traditional English enemies, we've beaten it before and we'll beat it again. <laughs> now, why are you getting scurvy when you're not on a boat? I'm afraid some of you have been a bit naughty. <laughs> You're not having your traditional English two veg. If you're eating millet bread or moss cakes, they are not good sources of the sea. And I'm sad to say, victory meat does not contain any vitamin C. But not to worry, fresh meat contains vitamin C. So, if you can get some fresh rat, you're all set. If you can't get meat, then remember, lots of weeds have vitamin C. Sorrel has 48 milligrams of vitamin C for every 100 grams you eat. Chickadee has 24. Clover and dandelions are smashing sources of vitamin C. <laughs> In fact, I think it's safe to say that just about anything that's green and grows in the ground contains some vitamin C. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again next time when we'll talk about malaria. It's not nearly as bad as it sounds. <laughs> Most people survive it. This is Dr. Jack Worthy, saying my prescription for you is to stay well, well, well. I wonder what they'd do if I powered that TV set. Probably throw a party in front of it. Leaving all their houses empty. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I just realized I love the consistency they have in the world so people love this cult of jack this fake jack that they get to watch because they don't have access to the real one and they told them that they need vitamin c and they can get it from fresh meat like rats that explains the existence is this still marked on my map uh i don't remember exactly where it was actually but that explains the existence of the blood rock oh yeah there it is the bloody rock the place where people smash rats the rat smashing rock that explains why it exists it's really cool all right let's power the tv it's a secondary objective i guess optional but uh let's definitely do it well nothing lasts forever does it we've all got to stick together here in spirit anyway mm-hmm so let's not do anything that's going to piss anybody off. That's a power line. I don't know where it's coming from versus going, though. Is this... Christ almighty! Uh, I wasn't sure. I just stepped foot for a second. Chill. Wow, that worked. You're here. Well, they stopped following me, but now we got this to deal with. Do we really have to do this? Oh. Wait. Can I just climb back up this way? Yeah, that's a lot more convenient. Okay. 
power. I mean, it's got to be in one of the buildings, right? So I'm going to have to sneak into one of the buildings. But this isn't considered trespassing. Taking that is considered stealing, though. Oh, wait a minute. Is it marked on the map? Doesn't really say. I don't think so, because it says loot each house and there's three and there's only three markers. Am I missing s something obvious about how to power this? Wait, hold the insert power cell. Oh, I just gotta go around the back. Okay, nothing to do with the power line. We're good. Okay, got a bit of time. Just a little bit of time. Glad they gave me a timer. Very convenient. Dick spot. Cool. This place isn't even considered trespassing, but stealing is stealing. Still good to loot it. Very embarrassing when I read it out of the yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Inventory expansion. Alright, let's just go, uh... Let's just go straight for the chest. And then we'll see if I have time for other stuff. How do I... Uh, yeah, that'll do. <gasps> oh! Whew. Wow, they just literally sprinted away from it. They're like, oh, damn, gotta get home. It's past my bedtime. Okay, I think I got some good stuff. I got some dig spots, uh, inventory expansion. Let's use that right now. Let's see how much it increases it. 151. 171, damn. I don't understand why it's increasing my carry weight by so much now. Compared to the early ones, because it doesn't, they don't say anything about them having a tear. I'm not going to complain, though. That's a lot of weight. Oh, those are, those are plaguies over there. Let's actually go check it out. That place is unexplored. Fucked up just to attack him. Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. But I don't think they're gonna get cured. Always nice to look out to the water. Let's go this way a little bit. Just to see if anything gets revealed on the map. Nah, I don't think there's anything here. Okay. Let's explore this area here. Does this give me the super good bonus? The like yellow thing? Yeah. Somewhat more vigorous. Well, it's getting late. And it's time for all good citizens to getting ready to go to bed. Thank 
Hallucinogenic salad. What's driving them crazy? Oh, right here. Oh my god, there's too many... Too many subtitles. Oh. Alright. Together. Looks like they're on the uh, histoplasms or whatever they're called. Or whatever they're called. <laughs> Let's switch to non lethal. Seem to be in the mood for a rational conversation, do they? They definitely, uh. It's not an accident they took that drug. This is like a place for taking that drug. It's a mushroom den. Ooh. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a uh, bicycle built for two. If I blow that up, that's gonna make so much noise. Daisy, give me your answer, do. Who did that? Oh, somebody heard it. Well, alright, you know what? If I'm making noise, then... For I can't afford a carrier. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. The little <laughs> mushrooms just popping all around their heads. <laughs> that feeling when you're high is so intense that it manifests physically. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, for I can't really have a dog. We ate all the dogs during the war. But you'll look sweet. Upon the seat of a bicycle built for two Daisy, Daisy Oh, I think someone's seeing me, I think Don't question it Oh, no, they didn't They didn't see me Go out there I didn't know where the person was walking I need to get rid of the body so I can see the footprints Get out of here. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built oh, for two. It's better this way. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. If they would just stop singing, I would be so much happier. All for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, for I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet <sighs> upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Where'd do. she go? Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, she's just lying down. All for the love of you. Where'd she go? It won't be a stylish marriage, 
for I can't afford a carrot. Where'd she go? But you'll look sweet. Okay, who's the person singing? Are they the one down or up? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Where'd she go? I'm half crazy. Oh, it's them. Oh, man. Thank God. Just please be quiet. Such relief. Oh, bother. Oh. I got a bunch of shovels on them. Did I loot you? No. Where'd she go? What? Someone heard that. Oh, maybe somebody found a body. I can't see her. Where'd she go? I can't see her. Where'd she go? I can't see her. Daisy. No. Give me your answer to Rancid Stew. Mushrooms? They're taking hallucinogenic mushrooms. That's not good. You just figured that out? Grab the recipe. Alright. You can go further than that, dude. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, watch out! Is that enough? I guess it looks like it. Who did that? Okay. Oh, it's nothing personal. Hmm. A recipe. Oh, please don't struggle. I doubt they have anything good on them. Onion. Oh, that's alright. It's not rotten. Cleaver? I don't think I've ever gotten one of those before. That's interesting. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Well, probably not. This could be useful. Hallucinogen's not available. Wait a minute. Could that be different from the, like, strange alcohol that I brewed before? Maybe this is what I needed to open the doors of perception for that quest here at the Mystery House. That sounds very plausible. I can't tell if it's raining in the game or just outside in real life. I don't think I'd be able to hear it if it was in real life. And don't come back! Don't think I won't sniff you out. Yeah, it is raining out here. Now look at how the raindrops are colored by the lanterns. The rain actually looks super, super weird if you look up and rotate. You can see it like rotating with me. Ruins the illusion. It looks really good from here. Like this, it looks great. But like this, no. Don't look up when it's raining. Um, let's go. Oh. Wait, can I just... Oh, right, you can teleport. It's a bit of time, but you can just teleport to a uh, track access hatch. You don't actually have to be at a hatch to get to another hatch. I hadn't realized that. Thankfully, I realized it before I ever needed to, like, travel super, super far back to a place. Well, let's go straight there. 
dump off some stuff. Well, that was scenic. And I might have the stuff to make that non-lethal weapon that takes uh, cricket bats. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, don't I have a I have a workbench upgrade, don't I? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff to do. Things have been dumped off. Let's see what we can make. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was a workbench upgrade kit. <laughs> Use best workbench. Certainly looks cooler. But, uh, yeah, what's different about it? Keep your fingers out of the product. Good idea. Anything different? Uh. What's different? As far as I can tell, nothing. Alright. Anyway, can I make that thing? Um, what was it called? It wasn't Milo's, Milo's little helper. The help? No. What? Uh, oh, the sledger. Oh, man. I've gotten so many cricket bats, but they're all so close to dead that I, even with like three cricket bats or so, I only have 0.27 of one cricket bat. Ugh. Mm, don't need to make any of that. I don't need water, I have so much. Yeah, I really don't need any of that either. Oh! Trainers! I can finally make trainers! Oh, but that's gonna take my sewing kit. Do I want to spend the sewing kit right now? I'm kind of saving enough for that weapon, but I still need so many more cricket bats. I think I should just do it. This will allow me to run faster and longer. I assume better than... Trainers? How much it allows you to run isn't really reflected in the stats there, so it's hard to tell. Let's make it. Now we don't have a sewing kit, so the quest just updated to say, oh, I can't bring that that old person dancing in the motoline, their shredded raincoat bits in the sewing kit and all that stuff. Am I running faster? Is that one of the things it does? Because it feels... Yeah, faster and longer. It feels significantly faster. Oh my god. It's very significantly faster. Let me sleep a bit, and then we'll go run around outside. Well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? Oh, so dreary outside. Oh, there we go. I thought it seemed oddly dark. I thought it was just super, super overcast. Anyway, um, let's take some food. So I got extra bonuses and all that stuff. Drink some water. Not tap water. Let's get... Pure water. Got all the damn bonuses in the world. This is, uh, which type of chew is this? That's the old chew. So this is what we're running with before. And here's the new shoes. That is a very big bonus to running speed. I feel like it's immediately noticeable, which means it's got to be pretty damn big. Maybe like 20%. That's huge. This. You know what? Mm. I want to do test. All right, I just did some tests on the shoes. My uh, methodology was standing right in front of this tree, aiming for that tree, running a stopwatch as soon as I started moving, sprinting to it as fast as I could, and then stopping the stopwatch once I reached it. I did three trials for both kinds of shoes, averaged the three trials for each shoes to get a single number for each shoe, and anyway, in the end, the percentage increase of speed of the trainer's the trainers over the proper shoes is 15%, which isn't as much as I thought. It feels so huge and significant, but 15% is... It's significant, but not as much as I thought it'd be. Anyway, they're still awesome. Right, so 
What am I doing? I guess I'll go this way because there's a little bit of foggy stuff on the map here. Probably nothing there, but let's go check it out. Closer to all this stuff down here now. Let's go for this dig spot. Um, a whole big unexplored area around it as well. We've got the mystery house and the tree house to return the doll to and a bunch of other dig spots. But for now, into the fog of war. What an old term, isn't it? Fog of war? I love sprint looting. Is this the dick site? Not quite. It's just a grave for all the kids' toys so people don't have to remember. is sewing kits and cricket bats. Let's go to the mystery house. Oh, wait a minute. I never... I never made any of the hallucinogen. What do I need for that? Oh, I need a chemical crafting table. Ah, why didn't I do that before? Alright, I'll just ignore that for now. We've got plenty of other stuff to do around here. Oh, hey. Bees around the front of the mystery house. I finally have my padded suit. Well, it's not exactly a chain mail. I look like a complete idiot. Yeah, they can still hurt me, but it buys me a little bit of time. Huh. How good is honey? What if I just eat some right now? Is it going to give me a super bonus? Oh, whoa, what is that? I'm not sure, but it looks like it gives me protection against elements or... something? I mean, it's a gas mask icon. Turn the doll to the treehouse. I'm getting old. Oh, I never looked at these. Palm briefcase. Disguise techniques. Bomb inside rat bottom? I'm just reading the, uh, the little subtitle that comes up. Not the poster itself. Now that I'm reading it, it doesn't seem to actually say that. Amphibian breathing apparatus. Oh, this is the bomb inside rat bottom. Yeah, don't do that. That's fucked up. Key with secret hole. Oh, it's got a little treasure map in, like, the tip of the key. Oh. Would you like this? Brilliant! Knew we could count on you, Alfie. Hey, everybody, Peach is back. But look, Charlie Croker's been wounded. He needs a first aid kit. Can you get one? I knew you could. Here's the top secret blueprint for making one. And you can find the ingredients on this map. I suppose you do have to look out for your friends. Yeah, I thought I had a first aid kit. I do. But thanks for the recipe. This is for you. Okay. Here's the mission we've all been training for. 
you have to find the secret mystery house and bring back the ephemeral linen. Now listen carefully. You can only get into the secret mystery house at night and only when the doors of your perception have been cleansed. Once you've got the ephemeral linen, we'll be able to construct our secretest weapon. It's called a suit of blending for Peachy. We can use it to sneak into Dr. Verloc's secret lair and stop his evil plan for good. All right, Alfie. Don't come back without the ephemeral linen. A suit of blending? He's talking about camouflage, isn't it? That sounds amazing. Find ten ephemeral linen in the mystery house. You have any new stuff to buy? Just the Thank same old two things? Just, your mission. just the same old two things. Let's just work on some of these dig spots now. There's so many of them. Shovel banger, iron lung canteen. Decreases damage from toxic night fog by a small amount. Lit pipe, spiky brick, used up gas mask. Inventory expansion. Nice. Some filled power cells, a couple vomit bombs. Let's see if this inventory expansion also gives me an extra 20 pounds. It did. Damn, that is so good. Lit pipe, trinks, canteen. Man, I want a sewing kit. Hmm, just came across an abandoned house out here. On the way to this dig point. Not ruined, but abandoned, so nobody's gonna try to kill me there. Probably. Small house. Oh, it's another one. Oh yeah, this one's even smaller. <laughs> Nothing but an empty small dresser and some leather scraps and metal bits. To be fair, somebody lit that lantern. Maybe in memory of their old house. They even put a candle up here. Look at that. Oh no, that's a rubber duck. Also, on the way to this dig spot, that is definitely something going on. <laughs> Motaline makes you strong. Rescue poor Ralph from the mob. Okay. We need that. Come on, fall over. Sleep. Dream. Come on. Weak in the knees, but I want them to fall. I know you can do it. Ow. All right, whatever. Whack. You leave them alone. Come stop me. It's not personal. Don't mind me. I love that you can just paw at the air. Are you alright, buddy? Oh, God. 
I feel terrible. Give Ralph some sick up tea. I think I have some, don't I? You're gonna feel even worse for a second here. But then you'll feel Thanks, better. Mate. I think I need it. Don't it's don't a bit vomity, do that. I got most of the motoline back in there. Thanks, buddy. That is disgusting. Oh, I can harvest this motoline. Keep saying you received power cell. So, what it must be doing is just when I do this, when I do this harvesting, it replaces one of my empty power cells with a filled one. I think that's what's happening. There we go. I think I, yeah, I depleted them. Got a lot out of that though. Is it crafting components? Gadgets? Gadgets. I got 15 filled power cells. Nice. What's with all this math? Pi R cubed. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. That's some voodoo stuff there. I was hoping they get stuck in the tree. Nothing to say. Fair enough. Probably doesn't feel like talking. Yeah. <laughs> Just pointed a finger at him like, hey, what's up? Couple more power cells, electrolog shocker, cricket, a cricket bat. Probably completely repaired, I imagine, if it came from something like that. Yes. So I can. Mm, I can't make that thing because I don't have a sewing kit, but as soon as I have a sewing kit, I can make that really good non lethal weapon. Alright, well, this is where I just dug up that thing, and I think it's not really a particularly good place to end the episode, but I'm gonna end it anyway because I need to go to sleep. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I'm going to explore more around this area here. Get this dig spot, and then probably head back more into town where I can do some quests.